but incredible racing here today. Danny Moreno, I mean, what a drive, Andy. Incredible drive. I'm sure, though, Yano is obviously going to win it on track here today, but you've got to give him credit. P16 all the way up to the front of the table. No, it's absolutely magnificent from Danny Moreno. It was a really poor qualifying, but he's made up for it uh, in an incredible fashion. Absolutely brilliant. And who knows, he might have some of those penalties to get removed. That Some of them could be, you know, glitches in the game. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But Danny Moreno looking very strong, and I'm sure Jan Watney will want to do his utmost to ensure he's within at least three seconds when they get to the checkered flag. But Danny Moreno, what a performance. He's going to win it on the road, but not in the stewards' room. It's going to go to Jan Watney. What a race it's been. And I'll tell you what, Johanan ain't giving up on getting past John Evans. And if he could do, that it would get him an unlikely podium but i don't think he'll be close enough george no well here comes danny moreno through the bus stop chicane after an exquisite drive he'll come across the line in p b1 position but it's gonna be yana watmere on the day as he crosses the line the flying dutchman the f1 esports pro championship leader the current champion the psgl champion and currently landing he's the race winner here in wr for the belgian grand prix going to shift the entire uh, complexion of this race. Sam Corby is the first driver to actually stay out on circuit. And even that, he's going to be behind Jake Benham and Danny Beresnay. Uh, it's come at an all right time for Sam Corby as well, actually, because he's able to jump a lot of these drivers and now up into uh, oh. P3. Oh, I don't and believe it. What? Jake Benham, he's been disqualified for going past the safety car. His car just went through on the safety car and he's been disqualified. The champion disqualified from the opening race of the season as he overtakes the safety car. That is an absolute disaster for Jake Benham. It's come up saying it was for ignoring yellow flags, but he's definitely went and overtook the safety car. I'm not too sure what he's seen on his screen, but the reigning world champion and race leader is out of the opening race of the season. But will that make up for the uh, lack of life in his tyres? Only time will tell. Lucas Mini pushing the Mercedes along. Oh, here comes Longay. Oh, he's going to try and get the McLaren in. And then side by side with the Mercedes coming into the chicane. Oh, my goodness. This could be oh. horribly messy. Oh, no. It powers Fassi. And um, somehow Icabayana has ghosted through. Uh, he's from Fassi. Oh, don't look away yet, ladies and gentlemen. Final lap. It's all on this. And Yano goes a bit deep there. Lucas just trying to save it hard to get the DRS. They're all paying the DRS chicken game as he come through. Heading back up the hill. It's our Russian ready on the final lap. The final opportunity for Lucas Blakely probably to get himself ahead of Yano Watmin as we come through with the DRS. It's the inside, the outside line for Lucas. It's Nicholas Longay trying to get through on the two of them as we head down in towards Lane Comet. It's Nicholas Longay. It's, but Lucas Blakely just about gets it. He goes on track nearly. And it's Nico around the outside. You're not me up the inside of Lucas. This is <laughs> mental. Oh. And now we've also got Ika Bayana in the battle. What is this? This is absolute mental stuff from these drivers on the last lap of the race. Yeah, oh, Lucas had to give up on it. Now Otis Lawrence has just nailed Ika Bayana, who was slightly wrong footed with the incredible elbows action from Yano Wapi and Lucas Blakely. But what a brilliantly timed attack from Nico Longe. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, it's three of them out! Oh no, Bayana and Fassi! Oh, off into the wall at the death of the race! <laughs> what, what a battle there, and that is them out of the points. And now we come through towards Pochamon for the final time. It is Nicholas versus Jarno Otmir now. And also Lucas Bately sitting right behind. Obviously he's got his penalty, so he'll drop down as we come through in towards the final few corners. And Nicholas Longay, what a drive. We thought he's out of it. He's got older ties. He's done for. But as we come through, that's Lucas Blake. They tried to send it, but Nicholas Longay will come through to win the Belgian Grand Prix. And he, I think Jano just made it. Yes, he has. And Otis gets the podium as Lucas Blakely drops down. And Jano now will take the lead of the championship coming out of this race. Uh, what a final lap.